And now turning to this, the moment a Texas-based company, Firefly's Blue Ghost, became the second private spacecraft successfully landing on the moon. Y'all suck the landing. Come around the moon. <laughs> It happened this morning around 1.30 with Blue Ghost touching down near a volcanic feature on the moon. ABC 13 Shannon Ryan joining us live with more on this historic mission. Shannon? Hey there, Tom. This is truly incredible. That lunar lander, it's just about the size of a small car. Still, they're expected to carry out several experiments for NASA. And get this, another Texas-based company, they're trying to do the same thing this week with experts saying this marks a new era in exploration. Tense moments of silence and suspense. I think I think I completely stopped breathing. My Giving way to a collective exhale in jubilation. Y'all suck the landing. Come around the moon. <laughs> Texas-based Firefly Aerospace's Blue Ghost becoming the second private spacecraft to land on the moon. The first to do so with full success. No, I, I probably won't sleep for a week at this point, my heart rate, uh, but I, I'll just keep going. The entire team will do the same as they use the lunar lander to conduct several experiments for NASA. Um, it's important to us that we deliver on that promise. And so there's game changing science on here. There Fellow Texas based company Intuitive Machines, which made that first private moon landing last year also working this week to put its lunar lander on the moon, where they will conduct NASA experiments as well. I want to see them put some moon dust on their boots too, and we are two Texas companies landing on the moon within one week, so we're really proud to be from Texas. Legendary former astronaut Buzz Aldrin writing on X that the missions mark a new milestone in collaborations between NASA and private space companies. With the agency using private companies as scouts before sending humans back to the moon with Artemis missions. This is incredible and it, it, it means the world to the team. It's In Houston, Shannon Ryan, ABC 13 Eyewitness News.